Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. League One, team of the season, is here today. One of the most highly sought after and most anticipated uh, sets of team of the season. So far, cards are coming to the market today. I'm gonna talk about market movements today, how today could be slightly different than in days past and, or in weeks past for team of the seasons, and also how you might be able to make some coins today and what other content to look out for on League One Team of the Season. Obviously today, there are a few cards that everybody and their brother is looking to uh, see and is anticipating today. Neymar, Mbappe, and Ben Yedder would be those three cards. And I'm gonna talk to you about those cards today, how I think they're gonna react right away, when, uh, the, when the stuff is released, when the cards are released today, and then also talk about the prices of the other cards that are gonna be out as well. And maybe we have some saved packs, which could make some of these cards cheaper earlier on, but I feel like they're going to still kind of start at the top and drop down like most of the past few t team of the season so far card sets have done. First thing I want to look at, though, is a prediction because we need to get a grasp and kind of an idea of what these cards might look like today. This is from Dennis Foot and Elite Design on Twitter. Um... This is probably going to be very, very close to what the actual team is based on rating and based on players that get in. I would assume this is almost accurate, to be honest with you. Uh, but this looks pretty crazy. EA is going all out with the juice. I don't know how Depay is getting in, being injured for so long um, this year. But obviously, there's a lot of PSG cards in here, uh, a lot of French links, and a lot of OP players. They kind of have to juice this one, EA does, because... Uh, this is one of the leagues where there's not a ton of special cards, so they kind of have to boost the big names, uh, which we do see here with the first three players that everybody is looking forward to today. Now, supposedly, Mbappe and Neymar are both going to be 98s, and Ben Yedder is supposedly going to be a 97. So we will not see a 99 rated card, supposedly. This could change. Maybe we do see a 99. But that being said, I feel like this team of the season Mbappe would be very similar to the team of the year Mbappe, which would be kind of the situation where we had Tots Ronaldo and team of the year Ronaldo were almost the same card, just a little bit different. So I would expect to see this card kind of drag down the team of the um, the team of the year's price a little bit. And then of course, Neymar, right? Let's just talk about these three cards again for the first bit, because I know you guys are really pumped about these three. For the guys that can afford them, they're going to be very, very expensive, if not extinct, depending on the price range at the beginning of the day today. Just to give you some example, right? Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, team of the season, CR7, last week was selling at 7.3, 7.4 million coins at his max day one in the first three or four hours of lighting rounds during the um, during the release of Syria. And um, that just tells me that Neymar is probably going to be somewhere around like seven to eight mil first lightning round. This Mbappe is probably going to be somewhere in like the four to five range. This Ben Yedder is probably going to be somewhere in like the three to four million range as well because these cards are going to be juiced and, and just ridiculous and everybody's going to want to get their hands on them right away. But if you want to get these for more of a long-term hold, you're definitely going to want to wait. I'm just kind of telling you where these cards are going to be sitting at when they come out in packs today. For the rest of the team, Di Maria looks awesome. Obviously, he's not going to have the weak foot upgrade, most likely that the uh, the foot birthday will have. Verratti looks kind of cool, actually. If they give him 80 pace, that'd be fantastic. Um, Awar could be cracked. I think Awar or Depay is the left player on the loading screen with Di Maria in the middle. And then I think the person on the right side would have been Osaman if you look at like the loading screen headed into foot. But again, this Ronaldo Sanchez card is going to be causing uh, some waves in the FIFA community because this card looks ridiculous. If that is the one that comes out, that'll be crazy. Um... Oh, and the center backs as well. I mean, this I want to kind of give you guys a price range for these center backs because you might look at this Marquinhos and be like, wow, that card is unbelievable. You know, like he's going to be an expensive card. I don't expect Thiago Silva or Marquinhos as the two center backs. There's one more, uh, but the two most important center backs in this league, in this prediction, I don't expect either of these guys at their, their best value to buy. I feel like they're both going to be under 250,000 coins at some point. 
Marquinhos, seriously, could be 300,000, 250 to 300,000 midweek next week. He might start off at like 500K today, but after seeing Manolas and Small, uh, Smaldini, those guys being so cheap this week, and with everybody having Militao, Diego Carlos, Ramos, Varane, all of those cards already in their squads, with all the Tots cards that have come out, I think these guys are going to be decently cheap. Renato Sanchez is not going to be cheap. Depay won't be cheap. Neither will Awar. So when I look at this team, I kind of see like, a lot of expensive cards and a lot of cheap cards, right? Think about Slamani. He's going to be cheap. And the, the entire rest of this bench right here. Kamara might be, you know, maybe 100K. But the rest of these guys down here are going to be very cheap. Savonier might hold a little bit of value. Atal is going to be somebody who I'm very interested in. And Lala as well. This is going to be a very, very popular right back card for a lot of people. He might be. He might end up being the best right back in the game with these type of statistics. 90s all around except for shooting would be crazy. So I would expect a decent amount of cards today. And the most important thing about today's team of the season is a lot of the nationalities that you're going to see are going to be French, right? They're going to be French. And what that means is a lot of people can just plug and play a lot of these TOTS cards into their squads because French is a nationality that EA has done a lot with this year. Think about foot birthday. We had so many French cards put out during foot birthday. We had Pogba, Lamar, Mbappe, and that's just the beginning of the list. But there's a lot of, you know, um, there's a lot of emphasis on the French nationality this year. So with that being said, uh, I've been looking at French icons a lot because I think a lot of people might need some strong links and just links in general. Uh, to their teams this weekend. So maybe if you can go out on the market and find some French center mids in particular, you know, cam center mids, CDMs, uh, maybe a center back icon, uh, especially that are French, I think might have a little bit of rebound potential. Now, a lot of these are already up uh, due to just the weekend league and people opening their rewards. I've been keeping a close watch on some of these cards. Um, this moments Makalele, I feel like would be, you know, in the team, we have a CDM with Savonier. He looks more box to box than a CDM. Uh, and then we have Verratti. He's not really a CDM. And even Awar, uh, is more of a box to box, not really a center defensive mid. Renato Sanchez is only the through and through the only through and through CDM that I see in this squad. And he's Portuguese. So, uh, I feel like somebody like this Makalele could do pretty well today. Maybe even you see versions of Conte versions of Griezmann and ver and versions of other French cards go up today because of people needing to link French links to get some of these cards into their squad. I feel like if that squad that we just looked at as prediction does come out today, you will see a lot of people just want to go out and buy those cards straight away and try some of them out and put them in their team. Uh, so that could be very interesting with those prices today. If you're wanting to buy any of the new TOTS cards, just like we did last week with the Serie A, you're going to want to wait until the evening. There's going to be more hype today with some of these cards um, than there was last week with the Serie A. But a lot of times, if you want to play with it on Saturday, let's say, you're going to want to wait maybe into the, like the third lightning round for any of the new TOTS cards that come out. Let's say you want to get your hands on Wissam Ben Yedder's brand new team of the season so far card. Um, I think that you would want to buy that card in the second to third lightning round range, you might see a snap up in price after the lightning rounds finish, and then it'll probably fall even lower down into the evening. That is possible for some of these cards. Um, it's just all going to depend on the price and the demand. So it's risky to flip those. But if you want any of the cards from the League Un team this season that's coming out today, please just wait. Just wait a long time. Uh, some of these guys, especially uh, like Ben Yedder, Neymar, Mbappe, maybe Lala, you know, these guys are going to be in team of the season uh, ultimate tots as well next week. So they'll have a second week in packs with them, uh, with the ability for them to drop more in price. The other thing I want to talk about on the market are the league one rares. Speaking of like a guy like Awar, right? He's one of the cheapest uh, league on rares, I think at the moment. A lot of these league on rares, he actually might be up because people know he's going out of packs. Uh, so let's look at another league on rare that is going to stay in packs for sure. Uh, Col Timothy Kolosiak, 1.7k for a lot of these league on rares. Uh, this to me is a bit worrisome. I know some people so many people are unassigned uh, and thousands unassigned with these league on rares. If you are not going to be, uh, if you're not investing in these, if you're buying these to invest, I would tell you to please stop because I think these are getting over-invested. And just like we saw what happened with Serie A 
uh, on Monday when the upgrade SBCs came out, there was a uh, about an hour to two hour period of just absolute panic selling of people who invested in these league run rares, sold them off and the prices actually dropped before going back up again. And I, I especially think this week that we saw the reduced requirement during Serie A of only nine players that you needed nine rares from the Serie A to complete the upgrade, right? Uh, where is it at? It's this one. Serie A upgrade, right? Where'd it go? Serie A premium upgrade. No, that's not the one. Where is the Serie A upgrade? Here it is. Okay, Serie A upgrade, the 81 plus double for the Serie A. Needed only nine Serie A rare players. Since there are so few rares in the League One, I would not be surprised if on Monday when this SBC comes out that there are only six or six to nine rares somewhere in that range required for League Un. So I think the, the League Un rares are actually overinvested and I think they're going to go down. So if you really want to do a lot of those packs, I might just wait until we see um, the... Um, until we see the SBC come out, you'll see a bunch of panic selling. Then you can go ahead and buy a bunch then and start crafting the SBCs then. But if you just want to buy a bunch and do a whole bunch of packs right away when they come out, I guess this weekend you could be stocking up on those. If you're already unassigned, you know, maybe you, if you're trying to make coins, maybe try to sell on the hype. Maybe try to get some sales, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9 thousand coins at some point this weekend on some of those rare cards on the market. Other things I would expect today, we're definitely going to be getting an SBC. We're definitely going to be getting an objective. And for the last three or four weeks, we've gotten a SBC player day one. that was a center mid or CDM and it was good value. Think back to Vitzel was day one uh, in Diddy during the Premier League, uh, Saul. And then last week we had Allen, right? The, all those SBCs came out first day or right away and they were pretty good value. I think we had Allen first day, right? Yeah, we had Allen first day, I think. Anyways, I would expect a center mid SBC today um, that was good value because they continue to, to just act on that trend. So I feel like that would be the same for today as well. Uh, as an objective player, maybe two objective players. Of course, we don't know what those are going to be until they actually come out. But I would expect a couple of those as well. Last thing I want to talk about is... Uh, oh, two things I want to talk about. Not the last thing. The second to last thing I would like to talk about is SBC fodder, which is still very high due to the fact that a lot of people are opening Serie A packs or doing Serie A SBCs, uh, and they have been doing those for the past two days. I hope this stuff takes a big drop today during lightning rounds. I know there's going to be some saved up packs, but I don't think there's, I don't think a lot of people have just saved up tradable packs to open today. So I don't feel like it's going to be community tots or prem tots where you see a flood of packs opened. There might be a little bit, but I don't think it will affect the market that much. I think it'll affect the market more next week during ultimate tots. You might see some more saved up packs being opened because some people have been saving up packs and waiting to open until then. Um, but I would look to see a lot of this SBC fodder decrease, especially if you have a low rated card. Some of the 83s were like extinct or like 5, 6K. If you have one of those that is still in your club, I would cash out. The SBCs, the guaranteed SBCs are going to expire and the demand for those is just decreasing anyway as they are going away from this SBC section. Uh, and hopefully the 84s, 85s can dip back down. 85s in like the 6K range, 84s, 3K or under. For the good ones, you know, like Brandt, if you see him at like 3.2, 3.3K, that's a pretty good price. Just look at some of these cards' graphs, right? You know, you guys know which ones move the most, right? It's the guys with good links, good nationalities. Look at Brandt, a low for Brandt. If you see a Brandt at like, um, at like 3K, last week he was 4K, and right now he's, okay, he's 4.8, but he was 7K last week on the weekends with SBCs. Uh, so I would say if you could see these guys dropping down today and they might go up because of a, a good value SBC, never know. But if we do see lighting ground supply, the first day SBC is not the best. I don't know what these ads are that keep popping up. I don't want to see NASCAR, bro. Chill. Um, if you see the, the fodder drop today into tonight, that's going to be a point where we might want to pick some of that up. Uh, especially some of even like the 82s and 83s, because we know that those rise a lot for the secondary leagues. And stuff like that. Speaking of secondary leagues, uh, I want to look at the Air Divisie and the uh, CSL. A lot of these guys are very, very expensive. They're going to drop a lot today and over this weekend with lightning rounds. Uh, you're going to see a lot of these guys drop Hulk, Paulinho, um, 
Teixeira and Jonathan, a lot of those are going to drop, especially my guy Promes is going to drop. Ziyech should not be 450K. I still think Promes is actually not extinct anymore. He was extinct at 900 today. He's coming down, which is good um, because he's going to be a lot less, I think, after this weekend is all said and done because there's going to be hype now for different players. Uh, and you're probably, since Neymar is supposedly going to be a left wing, which I think I failed to mention that in, in the beginning, Neymar is supposed to be a left wing today, not a center attack in mid, which changes some people's uh, squads maybe. Somebody who is trying to run Promes might now be running uh, Neymar at left wing. You never know. So just saying, I would expect almost all of these, or basically all of them, to drop with lightning round supply today on the market. Last thing I want to talk about, League One special cards. A lot of you guys have invested in, a, in League One special cards because they were supposed to rise as people get TOTS cards and the TOTS cards come out and stuff like that. How much is Renato Sanchez right now? The left back, Renato Sanchez. This one is a little bit interesting to me, although I do expect they will re release some sort of left back in the team today that'll probably be faster and be a better card than this Renato Sanchez. I would expect most of the league unspecials to drop today. I honestly think I would expect a lot of them to drop today. This Jonathan Ikone card, one a lot of people have invested in. He still uh, looks like to be around the same price, 90 like the middle 90K range. Okay, 93. That might be a bit of an undercut right there. Should I be buying this right now? I don't think so. He's 100K. So, you know, maybe I can make 2K on that card or something. Yeah, he's 99K. I don't really expect a lot of these cards to rise up that much today because so many people have already invested in these. They might be over-invested. So I think you might see a drop on these cards. This is what happened last weekend. There was a drop on the special cards out of packs that um everybody that invested thought they were going to go up when TOTS got released. They actually dropped because people sold them. Then they rebounded a bit back into Saturday. Then they crashed even further coming out of the weekend league. So maybe watch a guy like this, Akone. Imagine Akone gets an SBC. That would be crazy. Uh, and he's not in the team, but he gets an SBC. That would be wild. Um, so yeah, I would just expect if you, have, if you have League on Rares and you're already making money on him, I think I would cash him out before the team gets released today and just be safe with it. And uh, just... Take the safe route and that sell into the hype with those cards right there. But again, massive, massive day in FIFA Ultimate Team today. Um, just the big time cards are coming out in FIFA. This Neymar headliner is a very interesting one today. It's already up around 150 to 200,000 coins from where it was early in the week uh, because this card was like 3.3 mil flat because people thought he was getting a cam card. Then uh, the rumors started floating around he was getting a left wing, which made this one rise back up. I think this guy might be 3.6, 3.7 mil when people realize, hey, Tots Ronaldo is like 7 million coins, and that's over double what this card is, or around double what this one is. And this one's a position change, so I feel like this one will still hold some value, and even the inform will hold some value and possibly rebound a bit today, just because maybe somebody who has 5 million coins might be able to try out um, like Awar and Renato Sanchez, and then maybe another PSG player, and then they have to link them with Neymar, right? And they can't go out, out and actually afford the TOTS Neymar card. So that is my prediction today for the content for stuff we should be seeing in FIFA Ultimate Team and some of the market movements that we could see because of it. It's a big day in FIFA. Really, really, really big day. I'm excited to see the juice that EA comes out with. Should be a fun one. And uh, hopefully we can pack some of them throughout the week with upgrade packs. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.